Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for chlorine trifluoride. So here we go. This is going to be ClF3. Okay, and that is going to give us 7 valence electrons from the chlorine plus 3 fluorines each with their own 7 valence electrons for a total of 28 valence electrons. We can take out or subtract the largest multiple of 8 which in this case is going to be 24 giving us with 4 electrons and we divide that by 2 to give us 2 non-bonding pairs and since 24 is equal to 8 times 3 that means that this structure will have an AX3 E2 shape. All right meaning one central atom surrounded by three peripheral atoms and the central atom also has two non-bonding pairs of electrons. All right, so let's go ahead and draw this structure. So we have the chlorine in the center surrounded by the three fluorines. And we can start by single bonding all of the fluorines to the central chlorine. So single bond there, there, and there. And then we can also fill in the octets for each of the fluorines on the outside. So fill in each of these to make them have their eight electrons. So that takes care of the three peripheral atoms. Now we have to add on these two non-bonding pairs of electrons t to the uh, central chlorine. So we'll put a, pa a pair there and a pair there. So that should be our final structure. Let's go ahead and verify that by calculating the formal charges. So the formal charge on the central chlorine is going to be equal to the uh, seven valence brought in minus the one, two, three bonds, minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And then the formal charge on each of the fluorines, which is going to be equal to the uh, seven valence brought in. And if you see, notice, they all have one single bond and six non-bonding electrons, so all their formal charges will be the same. So minus the one single bond minus the six non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And we multiply that by three because there are one, two, three of those. Add all these up, that gets us overall formal charge of zero, which is what we want because this is not a charged compound or particle. All right. Now, in terms of actual shape, when you have the AX3E2 structure, that means that you're going to have what's called a T-shaped molecule, all right? And when you have the T-shaped molecule, the bond angles are going to be approximately equal to 90 degrees as well as 180 degrees in different locations, all right? Um, in terms of hybridization, looking at the central chlorine, there is one, two, three, four, five, so a total of five different electron groups or uh, potential bonding sites. So that means we need five hybrid orbitals. So we're going to go with sp3d hybrid. Okay, so one s, three p's, one d for a total of five hybrid orbitals to match the five electron groups. And because of these two non-bonding pairs, that is going to make this overall a polar compound. All right, that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.